the order that I'll be going through. All right, so uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? Uh, first of all, we're going to cover the paring knife. Uh, the paring knife, uh, it's two and three quarter inch blade. You know, this is what we call the air knife, and it's for anything that you would do in the air. Um, you know, peeling, paring. Um, one of the cool things about the paring knife that you're able to do that you're not going to be able to do with most paring knives is something called scraping a carrot. And the reason you can't typically do that is because most paring knives aren't sharp enough to properly scrape a carrot. And so when you're scraping the carrot, you're just taking the very thin, fine layer off the top of it. And when you typically use a vegetable peeler, oftentimes you take off way too much of the layer, which means that you're not going to have all the vitamins and nutrients that you're going to have when you're using this paring knife. Good for taking the tops off strawberries from roots and stems. You know, this is going to be your go-to knife when you're making smoothies. You know, Mrs. Jones, do you ever make smoothies? Yeah, I know. It's like the greatest way to wake up in the morning. Uh, by the way, whoever just signed on uh, to the call, please mute yourself. Thanks. Okay, the next piece in your set is going to be the trimmer. Uh, this is your utility tool in this set. And this is the knife that you're probably going to grab for when you're not really sure what knife to grab for. Um, it's great for anything about the size. Uh, please meet yourself and be on time for the next call. Um, this is going to be um, the piece that you're going to use for all your small round fruits, things like apples, oranges, nectarine, grapefruit. And this is going to be for, you know, when you're making like sandwiches and you want to cut a tomato and you don't want the tomato slices to be super extra thick. Uh, you want nice thin slices, um, and obviously all the all the, the the vitamins and the nutrients are going to be in the juice instead of being on your cutting board. All right, uh, the next piece in your set is going to be the spatula spreader, um, and this is basically the the game changer of your you know of your sandwich making lifestyle. Um, I love it. I use you know in college I use it like every single day. You can get to the bottom of the mayonnaise jar. As you can see, it's really flexible. So you can cut a piece of pie, you can, you know, I mean, anything that you need to serve, you know, you're using it for brownies, lemon squares, etc. Uh, and you'll be able to serve the piece of, you know, whatever pieces you're doing as well. Again, you'll notice I'm going to go more quickly through the, the, the main pieces in the Cutco Homemaker set because I'm sure you're used to that so I can get to the accessories that you might not be as used to. All right, the next piece in your set is going to be the, uh, the Petite Carver. This is just basically the small carving knife for the table. Good for taking apart chicken. This is also good for like your larger fruits and vegetables. You know, you can do a pineapple, squash, eggplant, you know, the large pieces. Next piece in your set is your chef knife. Um, this is the workhorse, meaning like this is what's going to be used for making salads. Um, and so this is going to be, you know, I mean, you ever watch cooking shows, you probably see them using this on cooking shows. So this is the chopping and dicing tool. And so it's going to be a lot faster than cutting things up individually. Um, as well. The next tool in your set is going to be the butcher knife. Um, so you know when you buy chicken from the store that's already whole, like the one that's seasoned, this is good to take it apart really easily. You can throw stuff in the Ziploc bags and that way the, the chicken keeps a lot uh, longer. Um, this is also good for taking apart frozen ground beef, uh, frozen veggies, um, frozen fruits as well. If you buy like fruits in a bag that you want to take apart as well. Um, and uh, answering the doorbell at 3 o'clock in the morning. Just kidding. Um, the next piece in your set is your uh, master carving set and you know again this is like your Thanksgiving your Christmas set your holiday set you're not gonna use it every single day but it's definitely nice to have on special occasions um, and then lastly is the slicer uh, longest piece in the set good for slicing your meat slicing bread fresh bread out of the oven uh, boneless meats and cheese and shredding lettuce uh, oh yeah I forgot the um, the the turning fork I like the turning fork because it allows you to be able to cook with it this is like my stir fry piece um, so when you're doing like eggplant, um, parmigiana, or if you're turning over like, you know, small individual vegetables on a cutting board, uh, on a, uh, either on a cutting board or on a pan, you don't have to use your fingers. You know, this is also good for getting pickles and cherries out of a jar. All right. Um, table knives. We actually have, uh, three different styles of table knives. I'm going to go through just the basic one right now. Uh, just everyday meats here. I'm going to have, you know, cut you, you know, have you cut a piece of leather, you know, we'll move on from that. Okay. So let's go to the accessories. I know a lot of you guys are here. Probably gonna have more uh, questions about this, you know, but I'm gonna go through how I cover them because I, I, for the most part, sell more accessories than even the regular knives, uh, aside from maybe the spatula spreader. So let's go to the accessories here, and I'm gonna cover them typically the way that I do here. Okay. Um, the vegetable knife. Um, I love the vegetable knife for stir fry. 
so this is what I call the vegetable cleaver when you're barbecuing. Uh, and the nice thing about this is that you can go through an entire onion, uh, you can go through peppers, and then when you're, you know, you're chopping and dicing, and then you scrape everything up, you bring it over to a boiling pot of water. Uh, it's really nice to have multiple chef, you know, multiple of these chef's knives, uh, especially like over the holiday season, uh, you know, maybe like your sister or your mom is in town and she's helping you cook as well. It's kind of nice that both people are able to work through the foods at the same time versus like one person working through it and then maybe you share the same chef knife that was being used for like cutting up the fruit salad and then cutting up the onions. You don't want to really get those flavors mixed up together. Um, again, if you're on a phone, if you can please mute it, I would really appreciate it. All right, the next piece you have said is this is your hearty slicer. Uh, you know, if I, was on, if I was stuck on a desert island and I only had one knife, it would be the hearty slicer. It's the only knife that we have that you can chop with it that has a high knuckle clearance, but it also has the double the edge. So this is kind of like your trimmer on steroids. Um, I love this piece for taking, I mean, I can go through an entire chicken with this thing really easily. Uh, acorn squash, awesome for acorn squash. Um, it's also really good for, uh, you know, even like the large beefsteak tomatoes or maybe like a really large apple, things like that. You know, anything that's a big fruit, uh, again, this is going to be a great, uh, a great tool. So it's nice because you can chop with it and you can dice with it and you can slice with it. So, I mean, I guess if you had to pick only one knife to have, it would be this one. But if this is the only knife you ever had, you might go dull a little bit faster. All right. The next tool on your side is the mini chopper. Okay, so this is something that my mom really loves because she doesn't like using the big chef knives. She likes the fact that this is a small chopping knife and this is a great knife for making salsa, the Petit Santoku. Uh, because especially if you have a cutting board where there's like a lot of different vegetables on top of it, you know, you can kind of maneuver around that piece really easily. Here, why don't you try it? And they work through it and they go through it as well. So, you know, maybe this is the piece that you give to your, to your, to your daughter as she kind of grows up and starts chop, helping you chop. So, you know, this can be like her first chopping knife. I know a lot of people like that. All right, I'm going to go through a couple of these paring knives, especially because I use this one a lot. First of all, it's going to be the four inch paring knife. Uh, this is my avocado knife. And I love the fact that I can go right through the, uh, the, the skin, go around the seed, pop it out. And then I stick the knife into the seed and I just pop the seed out and I'm able to go through the avocado really easily. Uh, the bird's beak paring knife, you can kind of do the same exact thing as well, but if the avocado is a little too big, it might not be as easy. Um, but this is good for going around like the skin of like a mango, kiwi, and this is great for zesting a lemon, uh, which basically means that you're just getting the very top rind off the lemon. Um, and the nice thing about the, the paring knife is it's so sharp that you're only going to take off the very, very top thin layer of the zest. You're not going to have any of the white stuff in the lemon, which is really bitter. It's just the lemon itself, and it's going to be great for baking. A lot of people put them in muffins and in different recipes. This is your lemon zester. This is your avocado knife, the four-inch paring knife. All right, um, we've got the, um, the petite slicer. This is what we call the table bread knife. The table bread knife because the bread the the large slicer it just might be a little bit too big to use the table so this is going to be what you're going to grab at the dinner table for cutting your rolls you know you can cut a bagel with this you can even like you know cut a small chicken up with this uh you know the challah any any sort of like a small bread you want to cut at the table you're going to want to use this and uh, this is a good knife for people that want to carve meats but don't want to have like a sharp point at the end my grandma really likes it because of that next piece in your side is going to be the santoku trimmer so um, let me kind of show you the natural cutting motion of this trimmer. Typically when you're slicing, you're just using this like kind of forward rounded motion with the trimmer. What we notice is the, t the, the front of the trimmer just started going dull pretty fast. And so what we did is we, re we redesigned our trimmer so it has this point. And so the point is a reinforced piece of steel right in the front. And what you're able to do is it goes, uh, you're able to drag it on the cutting board but only the point takes the impact versus the whole front of the pairing net of the trimmer. So it just doesn't go as, you know, it just doesn't go dull as fast. You notice how the trimmer that you have, the whole front is going dull, right? That's going to prevent it from happening. And so if you use your trimmer a lot, and I notice that you do, this is going to be a nice backup to have so your trimmer doesn't go dull as fast uh, like the other one has uh, that you noticed. All right. Um, the, uh, the Santoku pairing knife, really the exact same thing. Uh, if you like to use paring knives on a cutting board, which some people do, you're going to dull this paring knife all the time. So this is the one that you want to use on the cutting board because, again, it has the point. So you could just drag the point on the cutting board and slice back 
and you're not going to be dulling the entire front of the blade. You're just hitting that point, which is, again, that reinforced piece of steel that's protecting the paring knife from hitting the cutting board. Um, so if you want to like slice up like celery pieces or maybe you're slicing up onions or green peppers, you know, right on the cutting board, that point's going to allow you to do that. Kind of looks like one of those old school straight shavers as well, which is pretty cool. So that's the, that's the Santoku pear knife. All right, I'm going to go to um, the cheese knife at this point. Um, and this is Jones. You ever tried cutting potatoes before? This is the ultimate potato slicer. What I like to do with potatoes, here, let me have you try it, is you can cut real thin on the potato, and then once it's flat, you can actually slide it. This front part of the, of the trimmer, of the cheese knife, is a flat, I call it the skate, because you can use it to skate back on the cutting board, and you're cutting the potato into little french fries with it. So you can make homemade french fries with it. This is good for making homemade sweet potato fries, um, as well as cutting through yams. This is also going to be great um, for anything that's soft. Um, it's called a cheese knife because it has these holes there, so when you're cutting through a thick block of cheddar or mozzarella, it's not going to actually stick to the knife. So, you ever have like a party with like, you know, wine and cheese and crackers? Right, this, is the, like, this knife in the white color handle on top of like a really nice platter with like wine and cheese, maybe like crackers on that, it's going to look really classy. So, um, you know, we, we really started seeing a lot of success with the cheese knife, so, you know, we actually came out with a couple different versions of it. Um, we have the, the bar version. This is our Santoku cheese knife. And this is nice because it's really easy to cut through key limes for margaritas. Um, but it's also really nice. You can also cut, you know, blocks of cheese with it as well. And then we have the mini cheese knife. Again, just, you know, it's kind of just based on what you like. A lot of people like the mini cheese knife because it just looks really nice. It's kind of cute. Uh, but again, for, sli for like just slicing smaller blocks of cheese, you know, it's going to do a really great job. All right, then we've got the santoku just is the this is the rachel ray knife you're gonna see this a lot when you watch rachel ray television because she uses it a lot so it's like the real chef knife except it's got the point on the front that hooks forward again same thing allows you to actually use the point and this is what santoku me you know it does is it puts the point on the front so if you don't have as much experience using a chef knife it allows you to be able to just use this point as a pivot and then you just leave it on the cutting board and chop up and dice and down and that way you don't have to worry about the the knife rocking around as much it's going to be a little bit easier my mom really likes this one because she didn't have a lot of experience using chopping and dicing knives again having the multiple different chef knife just because you know most people use their chef knife quite a bit is going to be really nice when people come over and help you cook or if you're making like a potato salad and a fruit salad you don't want to get those flavors mixed up uh, again, that's not your meat knife. That's going to be just for chopping and dicing vegetables, and people are such vegetarians nowadays that you want to have a couple different versions of it. All right, the cleaver. Uh, this is one of those pieces that you don't really think you need, but once you have it, you won't be able to live without. I love going through chicken with this thing because you can literally, you don't have to make those like wide hacking motions. All you do is you put your hand on top of the the chef knife and you, uh, the butcher knife of uh, the cleaver and you just literally push straight down it acts like a food wedge because it goes from so thin to so thick it's almost uh it's a full pound of high carbon surgical stainless steel um you can use it for crushing ice you can use it for tenderizing meats um and like you can just take apart frozen foods really easily uh frozen you know ground beef frozen chicken frozen vegetables this is going to be the piece that saves you the most money. This is your Costco knife because you can buy all the huge large pieces of meat from Costco, take it apart really easily, and it's like kind of like a mom size cleaver. It's not too big, it's easy to use, and you don't have to use any of your own strength. You just literally rest it on the food and just pass right through. You maybe like wiggle it around and it'll go between the, the, the joints of the meat. It's really a food wedge. It's one of the best pieces to have. Again, Kind of like, you know, the Apple TV or, you know, the iPod. You didn't really know you needed it, but once you have it, it's going to be kind of hard to live without. I don't use it very often, but when I need it, I love to have it. Um, and then this is our deboning knife. Uh, this is the brisket knife. Uh, it's really easy to be able to make really thin slices of, you know, through the brisket. Also great for butterflying chicken, butterflying meats. Uh, and it's really, you know, it's a more flexible piece. So it allows you to kind of go between the bones really easily as well. So again, not, you're not going to use it as much, but if you're going, you know, if you're making thin cuts of meat, if you're cutting through brisket, really nice to have. All right, so let's go through uh, some of the accessories that uh, have become really popular with our company. Uh, first, we have the vegetable peeler. Um, so here's the deal with Cutco accessories. Most companies don't make good accessories uh, because it's their accessory. They're not going to invest their, their money into making a high-quality vegetable peeler, but because Cutco is only sold direct, Everything we make has to be great. 
Uh, and so our vegetable, we use the steel uh, peeler, we use the same exact quality of steel. Um, it's actually, it goes back and forth, it's removable. Um, and uh, I mean, you know, it's the last special peeler you have to buy. It's 30 bucks for a peeler. I'm sure you've replaced at least three peelers in your life that each cost 10 bucks, and they probably suck the entire time you use them. So this is gonna be the last peeler you ever buy. It's definitely worth it. I mean, you probably don't even have to buy it. I'll probably give it to you for free at the end of the demo um, as well. But anyways, um, next is gonna be the ice cream scoop. Um, this is the best ice cream scoop I've ever used. Um, now, just like the ones that melt the ice cream, it'll do that. It's coated with zinc. Uh, zinc is a metal that displaces heat very quickly. So it'll melt your ice cream as you're going through it. You don't have to like microwave the ice, the ice cream, something crazy like that. When now it's like half frozen, half soupy, it's kind of all weird. Uh, it's also sharpened all the way around the outside. So you can really dig into the ice cream. It's got the point on the front, so you can dig into the ice cream again. It's really thick, it's not gonna bend. It doesn't have that annoying arm that's gonna be really hard to clean. And because there's no crazy antifreeze inside of it, I don't know why people do that, um, it's actually gonna be dishwasher safe. Um, so again, really, really nice, good grip so it doesn't slip out of your hands. In the summer, you guys are gonna love this piece. All right, uh, the garlic press. I've actually, I, I used to not use this very often, uh, but then when I got my own place, I started using it a lot, and I really like it, because fresh garlic tastes better, plus it's a lot cheaper. So here's how it works. You can put like four or five different cloves in the garlic opening, and you're gonna smash it right through. Now, garlic is really sticky, so it'll stick into the holes. That's why we have this cleaner for. The cleaner allows it just to kind of, you just push it right back through, and then you can, you know, remove it. Now, the cool thing about the garlic press is once you push it through, a lot of the garlic actually doesn't go through. What it does is it creates this flat garlic patty in the thing, and you just remove that patty from the inside, and you can rub the garlic patty on, like, steaks and on chicken and on fish. You're going to get all that garlic flavor without any of the actual garlic having to be on top of it. So... Uh, and this is also great if you make margaritas. Um, you can squeeze the lime juice out of it. Uh, you can put Play-Doh in there and make Play-Doh hair. All kinds of fun stuff. And I really, I love this thing. It's really nice to have. Most garlic presses suck. The cleaner take, you know, it comes apart. It's really not good. So, anyways, um, we've got the um, the pizza cutter. Our pizza cutter is great. I'm from Chicago, so I know what good, you know, sh stuffed crust pizza. And this is always going to be the one that's nice because, you know, you can cut the pizza. And then when you're done, boom, it comes apart so you can clean it. So you don't have to like stick your fingers inside of it or something if you're like using toothpicks or whatnot. Uh, it's dishwasher safe. Uh, the pizza cutter is also something I call the little kid knife uh, because little kids can use it to cut up their apples and their pears. Uh, it's not sharp to the touch so they can use it for themselves. You can engrave like Johnny's name on it or something so it's their knife and they can use it for cutting pizza. Uh, they can cut brownie squares with it. They can cut lemon squares. Um, they can cut their peanut butter and jelly sandwich with it. It's just kind of like a nice knife for kids to be able to use because it's not sharp to the touch. Uh, and obviously they're going to use it for pizza all the time. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, last but not least is our can opener. This took us uh, uh, just over 12 years to manufacture because we couldn't figure out how to make one that wouldn't break. Uh, we tried doing the one that goes around the outside, but those are impossible to, to maintain for, for a little longer than a year. So we did the one that comes around the, out, the, around the top, so it does take the top, but it has the same kind of quality of steel as all the knives do. So it makes a really easy cut. The turner that you notice is really smooth. It also has a magnet on it, so it'll lift up the lid. So you don't have to get like your handful of tuna sauce, you know, of tuna sauce, you know, water when you're like, you know, lifting it up or the tomato sauce. Um, and it's, it's got a forever guarantee. I mean, I'm sure you've gone through at least a couple can openers that each cost about 20 bucks. This one's cheap, it's only 49. Uh, but it's the last can opener you'll need. It's got a forever guarantee. It's so worth it, it's ridiculous. Um, I, this is the thing I pretty much sell on every single demo ever since I've gotten one uh, because people just can open or kind of sucks for the majority of their life. So uh, anyways, that's that piece. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of the outdoor pieces real quick for you. I know you said uh, you're kind of into it. Uh, this is our fishing fillet knife. Um, it was on the cover of Field and Stream magazine when it came out. It's flexible. It's nice. Uh, it's got a patented cam lock. So uh, if you have like a, you know, if you're catching a goldfish, this is fine. But if you have like jaws, you can extend it three more inches, and then it's stable, still flexible. Then it can, you know, the blade comes out so you can clean it, you know, so it's more sanitary in the middle. But let me show you the really cool part. This holder comes apart, so you can use it instead of pliers. You can just put the fish mouth in there, take the hook out, whatnot. And then it's got a sharpener on the back, sharp. And this is, by the way, included. It's not two different pieces. This all comes together with it. Um, and uh, we offer engraving on all these pieces. I'm actually offering free engraving for all these things, so. Uh, that's really nice that you can do that as well. Uh, and then lastly, um, something I didn't cover before, but um, 
Here are our kitchen scissors. These are really a game changer in the kitchen. Um, they're, I mean, you're gonna use them for everything. Nice thing is they're, they're dull at the front so little kids won't cut themselves, but you can cut things as, as delicate as silk, paper, which you're not supposed to cut with shears, but you can actually do it, uh, different cloths, material. Uh, you can cut through a penny, and I can show you that, boom, goes around it. Um, I mean, you can cut through gauge steel, you can cut through, you know like those plastics that electronics come in that are impossible to open? Yeah, that's what these are for. So if you have a kid going to college, this is one of those pieces they would love to have um, from all the boxes that you're going to send them and stuff like that. You can also use them for like opening up uh, for cutting flowers, you can use it for pruners, they're your garden shears, you can cut uh, saran wrap with them, you can cut cardboard, cloth, um, carpet, tiles. Um, thin metal wires and, uh, and the cool thing is at the end when you're all done with that they come apart so you can put them in the dishwasher then you can cut chicken with them um, and, I mean this is the these are the really I think this is the first accessory our company ever came out with and to the day it's still uh, it's still the best accessory that we make and so uh, again these typically come with most of our sets for free so um, I'll, take, I'll let you take a look at them as well um, our cutting boards, we call them forever cutting boards because it's the last time you'll ever have to buy it. And the, the cool thing is they have a forever guarantee. So if you know they're going to get shredded up, they're designed to be a softer material. Um, but if they do get shredded, you can literally send the cutting board back and the company will give you a free cutting board for life. So literally you buy one cutting board and trust me, these will get shredded up, uh, but then you just replace it for free. Uh, recently, our company... Uh, had a lot of requests for a bigger, beefier, manlier steak knife. So we did come out with a beefier, manlier steak knife. Uh, this is our steakhouse steak knife. And it's, I mean, it's beautiful for a fillet. Um, there's really no difference in how well it cuts between our table knife and our and our steak knife. It's just all about the size. Some people requested the bigger size. And if all you want is just something a little flashier than our typical steak knife, uh, we also have the stainless steel steak knife, uh, excuse me, the stainless steel table knife. A little bit more expensive, uh, but you know it gives you that feel of having stainless steel pieces on the table uh, versus like you know the the the, the thermal resin plastic. All right, so uh, Mrs. Jones, what I wanted to do for you is make something called a likeless. Now it's not going to be necessarily um, what you're going to buy. It's just going to be kind of like what you like. So if cookie were falling from the sky handles first, of course. You know, what were the pieces that would be kind of like nice to have either now or maybe even like hypothetically for the future or like, I don't know, maybe for gifts. Um, so I'm going to write here this like list for you on the piece of paper. Uh, and I'm going to number it 1 through 10. You don't have to pick out 10 items, but I just don't want to like, you know, help you think that this is only stuff you're going to buy because I'm going to keep this here. And then whatever you like today, that's totally great. You don't have to buy anything, by the way, because I get pages to show it. But if you do like something today and you end up not getting everything today, uh, I'll keep this. And that way in the future, I can always kind of help you upgrade and like add more pieces to your, to your set. So anyways, uh, let's go through the pieces. I'm going to fast forward this because this would be where they would be picking stuff. So let's say they picked out, uh, you know, these eight pieces. And just like with everything, obviously I'm writing the like list. I'm numbering it one through 10, just like you were taught in training. So once I've figured out the prices for everything, I grab my price list and I figure out like all the little prices. I like to write the prices really small next to each item. I don't like to write them really big. Um, and I say, all right, Mrs. Jones, um, you, let, me, let me get a minute here. I'm gonna try to figure out some like really awesome, crazy deal. So I go through the math. All right, Mrs. Jones, I know that you said this is your wish list only, but hey, you know what? Sometimes wishes can come true. So for everything that you picked out, which is item A and the paring knife and the peeler and the, and the hardy slicer and the can opener and four table knives and the cleaver and the, and the, and the petite sand token, for everything, I mean, this is literally everything you would ever want in Cutco, normally it's going to be 700 However, that's not what you would pay. That's what you would pay if you were working with some ref who didn't know what they were doing or you know wasn't in this big scholarship contest. Actually, I'm going to give you a discount of $190, and I'm going to give you this four pair. I'm going to give you the four table knives, and I'm going to give you the, the, the can opener for free. I'm going to give you a $190 discount. So it's only going to end up being $510, and on the five pay, it's only 80 bucks a month. So, Mrs. Jones, what do you think? You want to go ahead and try it out? I'm getting a text message about something. I'm cutting out. We can't hear you. Can you guys hear me? 
All right, so I'll say that again in case you can hear me. Thanks, Joshua, letting me know. Okay, so Mrs. Jones, typically for everything, it would be 700. But obviously, I'm not gonna have you pay 700. That's what you would be paying if you were paying retail, buying online, buying it in the future. But today, I'm gonna give you a discount of $190. I'm gonna give you the four table knives and the can opener for free. It's an amazing deal. I mean, off 700 bucks, I mean, that's like what, almost like 20% off? How often do you get anything percent off? Uh, it's only gonna end up being 500, and on the five pay, it's only 80 bucks. I know you probably didn't wake up this morning thinking you're gonna spend 80 bucks on something, but I mean, it's kind of like one night of going out when you weren't expecting to go out, or you know, one extra time to go grocery shopping when you weren't like kind of planning on doing an extra shop because you wanted to get you know one recipe going. And here's the cool thing about having Cutco, Mrs. Jones, that um, it'll probably help you cook at home at least one time extra per month. Because it's kind of fun to use, you know, it's kind of like when you buy brand new sneakers and you decide that you want to go for a run a little bit more. That's what having Cutco is like. You're going to want to use them more, you're going to cook in the kitchen more, you're going to actually like it versus hating to cook. Even if this only helps you save one cooking trip per month, think about it. Each time you go out to eat, probably going to spend 100 bucks on the family. Over the course of 12 months, that's $1,200 of savings just by buying this Cutco today. You get 30 years to try it out, plus you're really helping with a scholarship. Mrs. Jones, what do you think? No, too much money. Hey, no big deal. Like I said, this is just a wish list. What? Why don't we just um? Why don't we take out a couple of things that you're maybe not as super super excited about? We'll keep them for like the future. And today we'll just really get what you need. And so I, you know, they they cut off, you know, these things. Okay. Uh, give me um, give me one more second. I want to try to see if I can make a really really awesome deal that maybe you might want to jump on. No big deal. The way I just want to you know give you your options. Okay. So, all right. Let me think. Hmm. In this one, like, you gotta really make it look like you're really sweating it out. Like, I touch my head, I'm pretending like I'm sweating. Okay, all right, I can do it. Oh, my manager's gonna kill me. That's okay. All right, um, okay, so 500. I'm gonna still give you those for free. Okay, it's like 140 down to 360. Okay, on the payments, it's gonna be 60. Um, eight bucks. Okay, cool. All right, Mrs. Jones, I think you're gonna like this. I think this is probably gonna be more on your budget. Let me, you know, let me tempt you with this. So I know that we took out these three pieces. For everything else, you still get the, you know, piece A, B, C, D, E, and F. Normally for everything, it'd be 500, but I'm gonna still knock out $140. So now it's down to 360, and the payments, just a little, just over 60 bucks. Now, Mrs. Jones, 60 bucks, that's like a fourth of a grocery bill. I'm sure it's like even half of your cell phone bill. But if you do that, again, it's five times, once a month, the next five months, no interest added, you're gonna have Cutco for the rest of your life. How does that sound? Is that a little easier? Yes, no, okay. All right, so that's kind of my life list. I did two versions of it. Chances are you might need to drop down at least one more time. Um, I typically on average drop down at least three times through a like list. Um, and my average order size I think is like 280. It's not the greatest in the world, but I have a really high closing ratio because the one thing I don't care about is when the customer says no. It's not no, it's just not that. So you just have to continue to drop down. That's the way it's done.